Easy Salto Recipe and Valentine Heart. Here's some supplies that you can use. If you don't have sculpting tools, a toothpick is fine or a paper clip. We're going to use a cookie cutter, different selection of paints, a bowl, and the ratio of salt to flour, which is one cup of flour to every one half cup of salt. Pour the flour and salt mixture into a bowl and then add water, stirring with your finger until it becomes a consistency of Play-Doh. If the dough is too wet, add some more flour and salt. If it is too dry, you can add some more water. To mix the pink or red, place the paint in the bowl, use some water first, and then add the flour and salt mixture. Once again, stir and knead the dough until it becomes the consistency of Play-Doh. Mix your green paint using the same process. Now place a little bit of flour on your table and knead your dough. If it is dry, add water. I like to put some in a cup and use that for paste. Roll out your dough and then use your heart cookie cutter. Place it on parchment paper for baking. Insert the paper clip. I'm going to start first with some green leaves. Indent the leaf using a sculpting tool or you can use a toothpick or you can use an open paper clip. Put some of the salt dough mix of water paste underneath so that the leaves stick to the heart. Now I'm going to show you how to roll the roses. The inside of the rose is made with a long slender roll of dough that you roll up. And then add the petals. After that, add more leaves. Try to avoid using your fingers to move the roses around. A sharp sculpting tool or an open paper clip helps to lift up the petals that you don't squish them with your fingers. Add some little buds. Roll out a cylinder piece of dough and then roll it up. And lastly, I'm going to add a couple more leaves to the bottom. Bake at 170 degrees for several hours, then turn over and bake until the back is firm, and then spray with clear glaze.